Hi everyone, in this problem we have an infinite series and we have to determine if it converges or diverges. To do this problem, we're going to use something called the limit comparison test. So in the limit comparison test, there are two pieces. There is your a sub n, which is this piece here. This is what's given in the problem. And then b sub n is something that has the same growth rate. So to find b sub n in a problem like this, where you have a polynomial over a polynomial, just look at the leading terms. So this will be n to the k minus 1 over, and then just ignore the 3, n to the k. Just the terms uh, of highest degree. So here the degree is k, here the degree is k minus 1. Whenever you have something like this, you can use properties of exponents. The way it works is it's n to the k minus 1 minus k. So if you had, say, n to the b over n to the a, when you divide, you subtract the exponents. So in this case, it would be n to the b minus a. In this example here, your b is k minus 1 and your a is k. So the k's cancel, and so you get n to the negative 1. In other words, b sub n is equal to 1 over n. So b sub n has the same growth rate as a sub n. So what the limit comparison test says is if you take the limit as n goes to infinity of a sub n over b sub n, and you get a number which is finite and positive, in other words, you get a positive number, then that verifies that these have the same growth rate. And so therefore, the sum of the a's will behave the same as the sum of the b's. So if the sum of the a's converges, so does the sum of the b's and vice versa. Okay, let's go ahead and take the limit. So n is approaching infinity. And we have a sub n, so n to the k minus 1 over n to the k plus 3. And then we're dividing this by b sub n. So when we divide by b sub n, we really multiply by the reciprocal. So this is times n over 1. Oh, this is cool. We can distribute the n here. This will be limit as n goes to infinity. When you distribute here, you have n to the 1 times n to the k minus 1. So you just add, and so you get n to the k over n to the k plus 3. And now you see these are the same, so when you take the limit, you just get 1. So because it's 1 over 1, whenever the degrees match, you just take the ratio of the coefficients. In this case, it would be 1 over 1, which is 1, which is finite and positive. So it's really important to say that. It's funny because if you think about it, um, if I tell you, hey, uh, the result is finite and positive, well, that means it's a positive number. So why not just say positive number? I think it's because uh, textbooks want to emphasize that uh, infinity doesn't work, right? So infinity is positive. It's not a number, uh, but it is positive. It's greater than zero. Um, so uh, they want to emphasize that you can't have infinity. So this means that the limit comparison test applies. So LCT applies. And what does that mean? That means that if the b's converge, so do the a's, and if the sum of the b's diverges, so does the sum of the a's. Well, we know something about the sum of the b's. So note, if you look at the infinite sum, as n runs from 1 to infinity of the b's, so 1 over n, this is a p-series with p equals 1. So this diverges by the p-test since p is equal to 1, which is less than or equal to 1. So this means that our original series will diverge by the limit comparison test. So thus, our OG series, OG means original, will diverge by the limit comparison test, so by the LCT. So a lot of writing, um, that's one of the negatives about the limit comparison test. In my view, the worst thing about this test is all of the writing that is required uh, when you're writing up your solutions. It's just a lot of writing. You first have to, you know, identify your B sub N, which does require some skill. You take the limit. It's If you do it correctly, it's always going to be finite and positive, so you just say it. 
then you say, so limit comparison test applies, to let the reader know that, okay, you verified that you can use the test. Then you figure out what your Bs do. So if your Bs uh, diverge, then your answer is diverge by limit comparison. If the sum of the Bs converges, then your answer is converge by the limit comparison test. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.